Welcome to the Fox One Corp series of training videos. I'm Dave Springford. Please visit me online at www.foxonecorp.com for all your glider supplies. In this video, I want to take a look at updating the firmware for the Flarm Fusion using the Wi Fi connection and also updating the Flarm Hub firmware over the Wi Fi connection. I'm currently connected via Wi Fi to the Flarm and we can see the status of the Flarm. As well as being connected by Wi-Fi to the Flarm, I also have my Ethernet connection to the Internet. So I'm able to go to our Flarm web page. And on the Flarm web page, what I want to do is I want to download firmware. So on the Flarm web page, we want to go to Support, Firmware Updates. And that takes us to this page here. We have to scroll down to the bottom to download the firmware. In here under downloads, we need to pick specifically for our device which firmware we want. So the PowerFlarm Core and Portables have a different firmware, as do the Classics, than the PowerFlarm Fusion. So right here, I have the Fusion firmware version 7.04, and we can see on our system status 7.03 is installed. So we want to add that 7.04. So we're going to download our version 7.04. We're going to save that. I also want to download the Flarm Hub firmware 1.20. Again, over here, if we go to firmware update, we can see that the Flarm Hub is currently on version 1.00 and 1.20 is available. So I'm going to download this 1.20 as well, and that has saved. Now that those two files are downloaded, what I want to do is I want to go here and show in folder so I can see where they are. So they're here in my downloads folder and I have the Flarm Hub 1.2 and the PowerFlarm Fusion 7.04. So with those two in place, we're going to come over here. As I did, we are on status and we're going to drop down to firmware update. And now all we have to do is drag and drop the 7.04 firmware there. So we're just going to go across to our Windows Explorer Move this window a little bit, drag our 7.04, and put it right there. So we can see that version is ready, and now I can press upload. We can see a progress happening, and while that's busy, I can drop the Flarm Hub there to get it ready for upload. We've reached 100% on that upload, so we're just waiting here for the uh, Fusion to report back that the update was successful. So the first step on our progress bar, we could see the blue bar going across. That was the actual moving of the file from my computer onto the Fusion. And then we had the rotating circle. That was the Fusion doing its update. And after about 30 seconds or so, we got this update successful message. So we are now currently up to version 7.04. We go over here to status again we can see that's updated. So back to our firmware update, we'll go down to the Flarm Hub. So I have 1.2 ready to go here, same thing. We'll press upload and we'll get our progress bar sending the file across to the Fusion. That started working its way across here. Once that progress bar reaches across to 100%, we'll see the same thing. That will have loaded the file into the Fusion and then the Fusion will do the internal update to update that Flarm Hub to 1.20. When that's done, we'll see a green successful bar, very much the same as we saw on the Fusion firmware update. Hopefully you've learned something new about your Fusion today. Please visit me online at www.fox1corp.com.